One. Oh, oh, if you can't see them, they're not gonna grow. We are back for work at 24. The filthy 50s, 40 shorties, the dirty 30 is today. It's our last workout before the special 25th workout. American Gaviators. To get across. Oh my goodness. Look I at this. Move. It's unbelievable. <laughs> is gonna be four nasty gauntlets of exercises that we have to get through when that comes up. Today's that heavy five by six will be the heaviest we've been lifting in the entire first 25 workouts. Then we're gonna do the great reset and go back up to those high volumes. So it seems that we're gonna be going into 25 workout patterns to go up, retest how you felt, you remember all the rep schemes. Can you do things easier? Does it feel lighter? Can you hold reps longer, squeeze on one more pound? You'll be able to go through it again and again. That's how this program is going to kind of undulate. Today, like I said, it's the five by six. Let's look at the board. Three parts. The first is the true dirty 30, 30 reps, five sets of six reps. Uh, back squat, heavy back squat. If you're not doing the heavy, you're going to go for more reps, obviously, or hold the weight longer, longer, longer. You know how to do it. Make it harder on yourself. So you might be up in the 12 to 15 rep ranges if it's too easy for you. I'm going to try a six heavy squats. Six pull-ups with no bands and six hanging knee to elbow. If you're on the floor doing modifications there, it's going to be double the reps as well. Part two, still 30 total reps. We're going to try to get it done in just two sets. So 15 reverse lunge per leg. Reverse row for me will be on the TRX today. That can be bent over row. All the modifications are on the side, no problem. And then knee tucks on a towel. Oh my gosh. So we've done the hamstring towel slide. Flipping over for knee tucks on the towel slide is just a brutal exercise. You'll know that when you get there. It'll be running mountain climbers if you don't have a slippery floor surface around you. Third part, again, we're gonna to try to get through 30 total reps in just two sets. That's gonna be our lateral lunge. We've had one of those teases going underneath our a real barbell or the invisible hurdle, trying to sneak under. So lateral lunge again, 15 per side. Bicep curl, of course. We always do that with the pull. Pull and squat days, and then a coffin sit-up will be no legs assisted. Just rising up like Dracula out of the coffin with weight or without. That's it. Piece of cake. Let's go down to the floor for warm-up, and we'll get right into this workout. Okay, warm-up today. Piece of cake. Mat on the floor, two light dumbbells, your pull-up bar, and the power band on pull-up bar, or just power band looped up somewhere high. If I forget to say it at any time, always feel free to pause the warm-ups. Do way more on your own. Like if you're back squatting, you want to get more uh, empty, lighter barbell sets in before we get going. Just pause, do that, and then jump back in. But let's get the mobility stuff going right now. So we'll start that lazy pigeon position with the foldovers. Ugh. I always go right to my squat sequencing movements and patterns for five or six. Big extension roll and wave. Let's stay on this leg. Okay, we fold down, stay there, hand brace, and then we slide low away from that knee, away. That gets the low back and hip going. Okay, drop that back elbow, stay back here. Big pull on the front hip, reaching up. Reaching under, start mellow and warm up the range. American Gaviators. I could say Canadian or worldwide, whatever. It's a pretty good one. Nice, switching leg. Lazy pigeon, folding forward, aim over the knee. If you're really flexible, you're aiming straight over the shin, which I cannot do, so know your limit, stay within it. <laughs> Drop that chin, get the stretch all the way up to the base of the skull. Okay, hand out in front, hand out to the side, stay low, scan the floor, back, scan, back. Good. Back elbow, drop, reach high, slow reach under. Uh, this one always takes a while to loosen up and let go. Uh. 
Okay, mat lengthwise, splay the knees. So butterfly or the goalie stretch here, knees splayed, toes gripped. Don't go flat foot to the ground. We want to mimic sliding into the deep end of a squat and then extending forward. See what the hips allow you to do. Slide back, forward. Uh, this is an ultimate stretch, just like the three minute squat challenge you should be doing or trying every day. This butterfly groin stretch, just sitting in this deep position. You can just rest on the elbows is brutal. Crucial, but brutal. Okay, one foot ahead. Lazy knee can be on ground or elevated. Up like so, knee circle. Okay, and then inside arm dropping down to floor. Hopefully you can keep going until your elbow gets to contact the floor. Boom, good. Switch leg. Posture up, get that back hip stretch. Sink knee past toe. Let's see what kind of range you have through the ankle, knee, and hip. Good. Elbow reach down, reach ceiling. Down, reach ceiling. Good. Okay, clear your mat. You need to be able to grip the floor for this one. So we've had our beast position. We're gonna do a loaded, loaded beast into a beast wave right now. So beast position is up. That's how we'd start a leopard crawl. We're gonna load the beast by sinking back into the toes, and then we're gonna kick the butt up, through, 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 wave through the spine, and come down, drop the hip, look up the ceiling, and then tuck chin, whoosh up, roll back, and settle into that loaded beast, big extended arms, kick up, Wave through, weight onto the arms. Wave. And sit back at that Achilles calf stretch. One more. Uh, good. Walk that out. Okay. Power band for distraction, looped up somewhere high. If you don't have the band, you're just doing it in free space. Just try to create some tension in the body and mimic the motions. So shoulder blade first, we loop the wrist. 10, shoulder blade scap or traction. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, 10. Leaning back, this could be just a Y pulse with no band. Trying to draw the lat down. Ten. That one's really hard to not get your elbow involved. Normally we go into the chest opener, but that's not pushing today. So we're gonna go underneath the armpit and get the lat stretch. Or you can go leg behind you like so. And I like to just fall away for 10 reps. Oh, and get that lat to open up. Let your arms be free overhead. Ten, that's 30 quick reps. If you test, you should already feel like that one side is ready to rip while the other side's a little bit hesitant. So match it out, equal it out. Good. That can stay there for now. And then we'll just rehearse some of these movements with some bent over row and that's it. So let's just go five of each. Squat, body weight squat, dropping in, up, in, 
up and again this is where you might not feel comfortable enough jumping into the big squats yet so for bodyweight squats pause the warm up warm yourself up with some tiered weights and then resume when you're ready to hit that first work set okay good the reverse lunge we'll do with lightweight today because it's a crap load of reps I might actually stay on the same leg for all 15 and then go to the opposite side You can also get them done a little quicker if you stay to one, one leg, no problem. And then lateral lunge, very simple teaching. Go really wide stance, toes point straight, don't open toes. Okay, and for this guy, just assume there's a bench the whole way behind you, and you're trying to go to one side, sit the butt on the bench, up, sit the butt on the bench. If we were doing the Cossack squat or Cossack squat, we'd be low, letting that toe open, Boom, and we'd stay low the whole time. So this guy's a little less intense. And we can hold some weight. I'll show you when we get there. I won't do it now to burn out. But you can hold anything in your hands to really get that pump going. Uh, bent over row and we're done. Posture up. Dumbbell bend over. Again, if you don't have the bar, you're doing back fly primarily. If you have the band, you can do pull downs on the ground. This far in, I hope you have a bar of some kind. Ten, five, 15 reps, four, three, two, one. All right, the dance begins. So for my first set, I have the barbell my bar for pull-ups, and then I'm gonna try knee to elbow. If you're not doing that, you're on the floor trying big, uh, almost, almost a bike crunch, but a little harder than bike crunch for double the volume. So meet you back there for first round. I'm gonna go 185 for my first squats and try to climb, and we'll move pretty darn quick through the first five sets. The last two circuits will be a little bit more of a grinder. Okay, set one, I'm gonna go for my six heavy squats. If you guys have anything lighter at home, you're going slow or pausing longer, or even doing more volume. Nothing is concrete for what I say for reps. It's gonna take me a long time to gather my breath. You can still be sneaking in extra reps. The pull-up bar, I'm just trying body weight pull-ups with no band, feel free to use your band. Keep your bar lower with toes on the floor to assist, no problem. Same thing, hanging knees to elbow, you can stand on something high to make it a little easier or the modification off the floor. Here we go. back and safe. You're wondering why, why are my shorts so short? If you can't see the quads, you ain't gonna make them grow. Simple as that. Okay, trying to stay ahead of the surge of exhaustion here. Gotta keep these five sets moving. So I'm gonna free hang, chest, contact bar, you know the rules. One. Good. If you're going into the hanging knee tucks or knee to elbow, that's going to really chew up your grip strength. I should say hanging knee tuck is the mod for the knee to elbow. So just hanging just like so is a piece of cake. Remember, knee to tricep isn't a knee to the elbow bone. Here we go. Boom. I was four, watch if I go to just tricep, that's too low, it still works. Knee to elbow, gotta get your arm involved. Take some arm strength. That was it, set one complete. We'll go water break later on. Just gonna up my squat weight, sip of water, we'll be right back.
Okay, set two, jumped up 10 pounds. Remember, if you're going lighter, do more volume. If you're just doing the pull down bands and you're just doing the core on the floor, double the reps for sure. Let's go, I'm going for six here. Everyone at home, go for what you're feeling good with. No tempo, it's a survival pace. When it's heavy, it's gonna be slow. The blind put down. Always try to recover nose breathing. Only after big, well maybe squats or sprinting do you really need to gasp through your mouth. A real deep nose inhale is usually just as good. Okay, six strict for me. Anyone at home can use any band you want. Ooh, it's gonna get tricky. Ooh, that's 12 of 30 complete. Oh, now I'm gonna need my arms for the hanging knee tuck or knee to elbow. Remember 12 or 12 per side off the floor. If you're just doing core on the ground. That's it. Keep it going. See you back for set three in a sec. Okay, set three, we're in cruise control. Let's keep going with it. I'm to 205 right now. Okay. Ooh. And we're going for anything heavy. That magic set number is three to five minutes. If you're rushing any sets quicker than a three minute pace, you're not gonna get the recovery to be stronger into the next set. So you should notice your, your strength going down, diminishing, just getting more exhausted. If you sit around and really give yourself a nice five minute break, you're gonna come in, boom, 100% again. Some days that's cool, other days you wanna move a little quicker. <sighs> Chest the bar. Whoa. There it is. Okay, knee to elbow. I'm not doing the kipping swinging version. I'm trying to keep these strict. So I'm hitting my toe to ground to stop swing. It's a great isometric arm strengthener. Ah, okay, let's do this. Set four and five coming up. Okay, set four. I'm just jumping up small increments at a time, 10 pounds at a time. Keep up the pace. I've never heard anyone applying me back slower, but that might be cool too if you need a little more time. 
Here we go. Keep it clean. Good piece of advice. Never turn your head under load when you're squatting or finishing a deadlift. You see those idiots, yeah, yeah, look around under tension. So easy to pull those small muscles on your back. Don't do it. That's all I gotta say. Okay, pull ups. There's a mic smash. <sighs> okay, hanging knee tuck. Oh, if you can't hold that bend in the arm, you're probably stuck hanging straight arm. That's where that knee tuck comes nicely into play. If you can hold a little flex, you can aim at elbows as target. Ooh, two more. Oh. Okay, one more set. One more set and we're through the first dirty 30. Okay, fifth final set before part two and three. Get it done, whatever you have going, let's finish it up. 225 on the bar here. And the last time I would have done this way was in the Crushmore circuit, so the 10th workout on the finish. So heavy is a lot slower, it gasses you a lot longer. So if you're at home later weight, no problem. You can just keep going and jump right in. Oh, get a few of the pull-ups here. Four. more. Six. Chest the bar strict. Okay. Knee to elbow. True knee to elbow. Four. Four. Five. Four. Ah, six. There it is. I might go a little lighter for the last two parts. Woo, it's still a lot more volume. 
60 more reps coming up, scary. Okay, see you there in a sec, water break breather. Okay, part two, I forgot to tell you to what to grab so you can pause the video and set up right after I tell you. I have my TRX set to row, arms length off the floor. You can do the barbell reverse row or you're just doing your dumbbell bent over rows. I'm just using two light dumbbells for the reverse lunge. And then I have my feet on the slippery tile with a towel for the knee towel slide crunch. Pause the video, get that ready and then join me right back. We have to go 15 per leg lunge in the first. Set, there's two sets and I can probably chunk it out 10, 10, 5, 5. If you stay to one leg, one, two, you can get the reps done faster. Need light touch the ground or you just miss the ground. Oh yeah, that screams, that's a screamer. Body weight's cool too. Six, holding on to something is cool. Barbell's okay. Ugh, don't use your back leg. Push through the front. Five more each side. Four. Five. When I drop, boom, see I'm light. Not trying to shove from the back foot. You can always notice a shove. Two, three, four, five. Oh man. So that was 30 reps, which is 15 aside. Okay, a reverse row on the TRX barbell or bent over row. So I can get right to ground, be flat on the floor, rest down here, and then pull myself into perfect stiff body reps. Sorry for the view, maybe I'll change the angle a little bit. Here we go. We're going for 15. Links below to TRX and the suspension trainers if you need it or want one, they're very handy. Bending knees slightly. Okay. And the towel, knee tuck. So all the weight's got to be on your hands. In frame here, posturing up, shoulders gonna go over my knuckles. <sighs> Gotta have enough slide room. Ooh, that's pretty good. Three, don't put weight on the towel. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, having heavy hands, heavy, heavy hands. Four. Oh, that's it, that's it. I think we can go right back around to the beginning. Yes, no, I'm going for it. Going for gold. 15 more reverse lunge per leg. Here we go. I'll go five, 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 three sets of five. Body weight or holding anything you can. I'll alternate this round. Five, five more per side. 
Oi. Okay, legs are shaking now, spin the mic, mic check, mic check, get the handles back out, 15 more reps, try to posture up real nice at the beginning. Remember every row, shoulder blades back, shoulders back. No shoulder caving forward. We don't like knuckle draggers. Four more. And that equivalent, remember the push up on the weight scale, well, I forget what it was, 76% of your body weight. So that two dumbbells, that's a heavy bent over row we're trying to match. That's why the TRX is so great. You can get free weight out of your body. What am I doing? Where was I? These beetles are still just dying everywhere. Out of the way. Okay, heavy arms, shoulders over your knuckles. Almost a planche setup, so you're not behind with your bum high. We're forward level. Oh, feel it. Feel it. Water break breather, maybe a minute this time. And I'll see you back for the final circuit. Okay, back to the third part. This move, the lateral lunge, might be the worst out of the whole workout. I'm gonna start with a 25 pound kettlebell. Just hold it sumo grip with both hands. You can go total body weight. You can even have the bench behind you to fall and put your butt onto. Totally fine. Get something to do your bicep curls with. That can also be the TRX curls, piece of cake. And then a mat in front for the Dracula coffin sit up. Here we go. This again is 15 per side. Remember, set up is a straight toe, not opened and you're sitting your bum back to an imaginary bench. So dropping in, I'm gonna just tap floor, one, one. And then we want a big rainbow arc, we're not sliding low like in the Cossack squat. Keep your butt back, keep your heels down. No tippy toeing here. Upper body doesn't move, it goes for the ride. Oh boy. The shorts are getting shorter, shorts are getting shorter. Don't reach with the upper body, let your legs lower you to the target. Three more per side. If you can't see them, they're not gonna grow. Oh. Okay, curls any way you want. Get it dirty, get it done. Dirty 30's the theme. I'm gonna curl my 30's. Maybe swing them at the end, we'll see what happens. 315 reps. Right. 
10. I actually got this pretty well here, don't I? Five, four, three, four, two, one. That was easy. Gonna do 35s next round. Uh, and then body weight to the floor. I'm gonna take a little 15 pound dumbbell with me just in case. <clears throat> Spin the mic. <clears throat> Am I here visible? Okay, so legs are heavy, arms are up, or arms are down. Up, down, your spine rolls. Or you can hold the weight straight above. That was one rep. Two, roll it down. Roll it up. I forget this new buckle keeps digging my back. Keep your arms sky high, no momentum. You have to rise like Dracula. A little slight knee bend crunch would be your alternative here. Oh, that was it. One round done. Now let's go around again and this workout is over. Okay, camera's still going, camera's still going. I'm just gonna do the same here. We're still gonna have a day off at least before American Gaviators, but I don't wanna crush my legs too much. I'm excited to get to that workout, so here we go. Getting down, butt goes back, hips hits back. Pick it up, nice rainbow arch to the other side, one, one. Keep your chest high. If you have a logo on the shirt, I should be able to read it. You don't want to be cheating with the upper body. The legs are doing all the work right now. I'll switch the side profile so you can see what's happening here with the balance. It should just look like one half of your body's in a perfect squat. Right here. Boom. Ten. Awesome groin opener, too. Oh, oh. Let that flush. Shorts return to optimal length. Oh. All right, 35 pounders for curl. We're almost at the end of this. Make it dirty if you have to. Elbows don't move, they don't swing forward. Even on a cheek curl, you want to lock those elbows. We don't swing out in front. That's just going into a rest position. Biceps are turned off right now. Four more. Ooh, that was nice. That was nice. Uh, okay, Dracula sit up, coffin sit up. Audio, check. Final 15 reps here. Let's go. Uh, arms locked. This is a move without anchoring your legs. You need some decent quads to hold your upper body from tipping you over. Uh, 
can also hold it like this. Oh, that's almost balanced. And finish body weight. Four, three. Notice how we're landing in the hollow at the bottom. One. Oh, yeah. We did it. We did it. Oh. No cardio alert. Promise you we won't get that until after American Gaviators. Coming up next. Get ready for some lung burn and some full body burn. Maybe put your leotard American Gladiator suit on with a mouth guard as well. All right, love everyone doing this. Share it with another friend. Keep doing it with your friend, your spouse, whoever, your kids. Keep it up. See you for the next special workout.